One of the most compelling features of Revit is the ability to very quickly edit and move the position of various elements within the model. So for example, we can reposition walls, reposition doors, windows and so forth. We can also delete elements very quickly just by selecting them and hitting the delete key on the keyboard. As you've just seen, we don't even get a warning that the element's going to be deleted. Now that flexibility does have a downside. Sometimes we accidentally move things or accidentally delete things out of our model because it is so easy to do. Thankfully Autodesk has included a tool in Revit to stop that from happening and that's called the Pin Tool. If we go up to the Modify menu and look on the Modify panel, we have a tool there called Pin. We also have the ability to unpin as a separate tool there. I'm going to show you that later on in the unit. Now, if we pin an element, so let's take this wall here and we hit the pin icon. While the element is still selected, we can see it now displays a pin icon. It's like a little map pin. Now, when an element is pinned, we can't move it. So if I try and drag it, you can see it's not going anywhere and also it stops it from being accidentally deleted. So again, with it still selected, I will press the delete key on the keyboard and we will get this warning here. Pinned objects were not deleted. To delete them, unpin them before using delete. So by pinning elements, it stops them being accidentally moved or accidentally deleted. Now, thankfully, we don't have to pin each element individually. So if I go ahead and select everything in the model and now hit the pin icon, all elements get pinned and consequently nothing now can be accidentally moved or deleted. If you do need to move or delete an object that you've previously pinned, you need to unpin it first before you can do so. So if I select an object that I previously pinned, let's take that section of wall there, you can see the little icon confirms that it is currently pinned. We need to unpin it, and to do so, just use the unpin tool, which is located directly above the pin tool. So hit unpin, the little icon disappears, so it's now unpinned and we are free to move it or delete it. And just as we pinned a number of items all in one go, we can unpin many elements just by fencing. That shows us that they're all pinned at the moment. Hit the unpin and we've unpinned them all in one operation. Now if you've gone to the trouble of pinning objects, it's pretty safe to say that you're not interested in selecting them. So we do have a toggle which determines whether pinned objects can actually be selected or not. So at the moment they can be selected. So I've got this main building here and all its components, the tables and the doors all pinned. So just confirm that by selecting it all there, you can see the pin icons. And I've got two other little outbuildings made of walls which aren't pinned. So just to demonstrate this, if I do a selection fence around everything, you can see that I'm able to select all the pinned and unpinned objects. However, if I turn this toggle off down in the bottom right hand corner, get a little cross next to it. Now I draw a fence around everything. Only the unpinned objects are selected. And that can be quite useful if you want to move a number of elements around in your model. You know you don't want to move the pinned objects, that's why you pinned them in the first place. It's easier to turn that toggle off so that you only select unpinned objects and then you can go ahead and move them. And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. 
Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.